Let's consider a scenario to understand the testing life cycle. You work for an IT outsourcing company, as part of the testing team, and your company is hired by a bank to develop an online banking application. To understand the testing life cycle, let's first quickly go through the development life cycle. During requirement analysis phase, after series of meetings the client decides he wants the following five functionalities into a system. Login on valid credentials. View current bank account balance. Deposit money. Withdraw money. Transfer money to a third party account. Next, in the functional specification stage. Architecture, database, and operating environment design are finalized. Next, in high level design stage. The application is broken down in module and programs. In detailed design stage, the pseudocode for functions for each module is documented. Next, actual coding begins. This is the software development cycle of the V model. During all these phases, the tester is not sitting idle for the coding to complete but is doing corresponding testing activities. Let's look at them one by one. Unit testing. It is also called component testing. It is performed on a standalone module to check whether it is developed correctly. For the login module, which may look like this after development, typical unit test cases would be check response for valid login and password, check response for invalid, Login and password. Check response when login is empty and login button is pressed. Unit test is done by developers, but in practical world, developers are either reluctant to test their own code or do not have time to unit test. Many a times, much of the unit testing is done by testers.